Today on the channel, I'm going to be discussing the good, the bad, and the ugly about what it is and how it is to live in Longmont, Colorado. Now, I want to preface this by saying this is going to be a no bull video. I'm literally going to cover the pros and the cons so you know exactly what to expect when living in Longmont, Colorado. What's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. I do a lot of these videos talking about exactly how it is living in Longmont, Colorado. So if that's something that you want, please click the subscribe and notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. I have so many people reaching out to me by text message, phone call, and email asking me their questions, and it actually helps me know what's valuable to you. So my cell phone number is going to pop up right here. Feel free to use that. I'm the one who answers the phone, your text message, and emails. So thank you so much for the opportunity to get to serve you and answer your questions. Let's get into today's video which is the pros and cons of living in Longmont, Colorado. And I'm gonna start out by saying that it's a very difficult thing to do, which is talk about negative parts of the city that you live in, that you work in, and that you call home. That's your home! Are you too good for your home? But that's exactly what I'm going to do in today's video. So this is gonna be a no holes barred video of exactly the pros and cons of living in Longmont. Now I'm gonna get started with one right now, which is gonna be a con, is the traffic. Now I'm not talking about the traffic specifically in Longmont, but when you have to get to places and outside of Longmont, some of the traffic can be a little bit annoying. In particular, I-25, which is the main highway from Denver to Longmont and from Longmont up to Fort Collins. It is a three lane highway. You can drive 80 miles an hour, but in certain times of the day, five o'clock at night, 7.30 in the morning, you are gonna run into traffic. You take that in combination with the fact that there always seems to be construction going on. Oh yeah! I don't know what the heck they're doing, but there is construction going on, which means that sometimes the lanes are gonna be restricted from three down to two and then one. Because you're gonna be sitting in your car while traffic is gonna be funneled through there. Having said that, if you know how to use I-25, or the country or county line roads, you can get around without having to sit in traffic and utilize those smaller roads that are gonna take you to the same place. And to be honest with you, I feel like they're just a little bit safer. One of the other main roads from Longmont to I-25 is gonna be 66. Now, once again, this road is synonymous for having traffic because anybody who's leaving Longmont is going to take that or Ken Pratt Boulevard to get to I-25. Now, this is a two lane road and oftentimes there are backups because of car accidents, geese crossing and what have you that are gonna slow down traffic. And then you have the monstrosity of I-70, which goes from Denver all the way up to the mountains to the ski resorts. And that road is can be treacherous during some parts of the year. If there are snowfall, rain, ice, there are accidents on I-70 almost daily and some of them will get shut down where you're just going to be sitting there playing Tetris on your phone. But you also have the beautiful mountains to sit there and stare at, check out the wildlife. If you are on Instagram, go follow my account, which is real.estate.hippie. And another account you'll wanna go follow to check out everything going on on I-70 is I-70things. And it is pretty comical what goes on on that part of the road. So that was the first con, is just gonna be the traffic. Now, the pros to living in Longmont are that you are close to the mountains. It takes me 15 minutes from my door to drive to Lyons, and I am in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. It's a quick drive and there's quick access to adventure that is on tap. I mean, it's probably about five minutes from there to get to your first hiking trail. There's mountain biking. The amount of access that you have to outdoor adventure activities is literally mind blowing. Sorcery. 
I moved to Longmont three years ago and told myself, well, I'm just gonna hike every weekend and do this and do that and I'll be able to hike all the trails. Not even close. There are so many things. So that was a pro is that you are close to the mountains, outdoor activities, adventure, camping, hiking, snowboarding, whitewater rafting, the list literally goes on. Let's get into the con number two, which is going to be that there is construction going on. And if construction bothers you in any way, you are not going to want to move here. This is a growing community. So the entire front range from Denver to Fort Collins is growing. There are infrastructures going in, streets being built, subdivisions being built, new construction homes. There's a Costco going up right now on the other side of Longmont towards Ken Pratt Boulevard. So construction is going to be happening in these areas pretty much as far as I can tell. Now, on the pro side of that is there is construction going on, which means there are new streets, there are new subdivisions. There are new businesses coming to Longmont and the surrounding areas that are going to make this place a more desirable and fun place to live. Not to mention, if you talk about housing, you have the pick of the litter as far as new construction companies here. I've done business with them all. They're all fantastic. And a matter of fact, I'm going to cover all new construction builds and builders in one of the next videos. So make sure and check that out. But if you just do not like construction, the noise, the dust, all of those things, you may want to consider a smaller area that does not have as much growth as Longmont, Berthoud, Loveland, Firestone, Frederick, and all the surrounding areas have. Now let's talk about another con. And I want to approach this topic very carefully. There are a number of homeless people that call any of the areas that you are going to go to across the United States home. This is not really a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing that I want you to be aware of. I thought there would not be homeless people here because of the severity of the weather sometimes. It turns out that there is. There are going to be panhandlers. You're gonna see them on Main Street and 66. You're gonna see them by Walmart. Um, you're gonna see them on a couple of the roads over on the other side of town on Kim Pratt Boulevard. You are gonna see panhandlers. You are gonna see um, little homeless encampments and that's just the matter of human nature and I don't really think that there's any way to get around it. So you take the flip side of that, the pros are that this is a very, very family orientated community. There are uh, parks everywhere. I have a five-year-old and a two and a half-year-old and the amount of support from the people and other families in this community has been simply amazing. When you move to a new area, that's one of the things that you think about is how am I gonna integrate? How is my family going to integrate? How are we gonna develop and build new relationships so that we can flourish in this new place? And let me tell you something, it is extraordinarily easy to do because there are a lot of like-minded people that give up that part of their life to move here, be closer to nature, be closer to the mountains, have more sunny days in their life, even in the dead of winter. It is winter right now. It is a sunny, beautiful day. I can't wait to get out there and pick up my kids as soon as I'm done filming this video. So if you're a family, you have kids, this is a very enriching place. There are biking groups, there are hiking groups, there are video game groups, there are people that genuinely want to connect with you and that has just enriched my wife's and my life here in Longmont. And to be honest with you, it's one of my absolutely favorite things and part of the main reason why I love living here. So if you have a family, this is definitely gonna be a place for you. Now let's hop into another con. There are no large universities or colleges in Longmont. There are gonna be colleges and universities in Boulder, in Denver, and in Fort Collins, but we do not have any of those things. Now, you might be saying that that is a pro, but if you are a student or if you are looking to further your education and your college is going to require you to be in class versus taking online courses, you need to know that you are gonna to have to commute to Boulder, which is only 
25 minutes, you're gonna to have to commute somewhere to go to those classes. Now, I know what you're thinking, that that is actually a pro, and that's actually on my pros list, that there is no college or university here, which means that there is no seasonal traffic, there's no explosion of a whole bunch of uh, infrastructure going wrong when all the students move into the area. It does put a lot of pressure on the local community to have those large colleges in the area. We're talking about parking, utilization of the different things that the city and county offers, you know, partying, this, that, and the other. Longmont just doesn't have it because there are no colleges or universities. So that was a pro and a con. We'll let you decide what works best for you. Now I wanna talk about another con is that Longmont has zero, zero nightlife. There are no clubs, there are no dance clubs, there are no any nightlife as far as you would find in a city such as Fort Collins or Denver, Colorado. There is none of that that exists here. Restaurants are usually gonna close up by nine or 10 o'clock. Yes, there are bars that stay open, you know, to a little bit later in the evening, you know, two o'clock in the morning, but these are just pubs, breweries, regular bars. There's no clubs, there's no partying, there's no crazy amount of nightlife in Longmont, Colorado. So if that's something you're looking for, you are not gonna find it here. So where were we? You're gonna wanna go ahead and take a look at Fort Collins or Denver and possibly Boulder for a little bit more nightlife activity. Now, I want to leave you with the biggest pro are the people in this community, the camaraderie in this community. The community itself is the largest pro that I have ever experienced anywhere that I have lived. And I tried to figure this scenario out and I came to the conclusion as we've been here for a number of years, as we've grown the group of friends, is that we are all transplants. None of my friends actually were born in Colorado. <laughs> we all moved here. We all gave up something. We gave up relationships at our hometown. We gave up jobs. We gave up different things in our life to chase what was more important to us, which is being in nature, being surrounded by the mountains, having untapped adventure, and you transplant your life here to have a better quality of life, not knowing that on the other side of that coin is this wonderful, beautiful community of like-minded people who gave something up to be here. They're excited to get to know you. They want to support you. And it is one of the best parts about living in Longmont is the friendships, the community, no matter what you are into, you are going to find people who are just like you to connect with and thrive. In this town, I get to call home Longmont, Colorado. That was the pros and cons list of Longmont, Colorado. I pulled no punches. I did not hold anything back. We covered some of the really negative parts of Longmont, but the positives are always going to outweigh that this is a great place to call home. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do me a favor, drop a comment below. Let me know where you are from. If you got value from this video, smash the like and subscribe button. And if you have questions, please contact me personally. Right here's my phone number, email address. Shoot me a text message and a phone call. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I will see you on the next one.